If you're feeling down. Ah, focus, 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 focus. Was it focused when I first turned it on? I don't know. Anyway, um, okay. <laughs> so, <coughs> this is the night, you guys. I am uploading today's footage, yesterday's footage, and the day before that's footage tonight. Um, I might not get all three videos uploaded tonight, but I'm going to start on them. I'm going to start editing and getting them up for you guys. Y'all, I just fail at VEDA. I just fail. I can't do it. It's too difficult and my mind is too cluttered to think about it every single second of the day and I forget to pick up my camera. I, I don't know what's been going on y'all. I'm, I'm so scatterbrained. So scatterbrained. Um, so today was the day. I woke up and I'm like, okay, today I'm going to get my house spick and span. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be awesome. And I'm going to be organized. It, look at my house. Look at my house. Did, it didn't happen. I don't know what's going on. Um, so my mom came over to get Piper because she wanted to take her to our local um, gardens um, for the day. And that was fine and great. So she got here around 10 and you know, around 10, come on y'all, like I'm still kind of waking up, I'm still having my coffee, I'm still, you know, kind of getting myself going for the day. Well, Aiden ended up having to stay home today again. I'm not going to get into that because it kind of irritates me why he's staying home today. However, he is home today, so he's downstairs napping right now. And my mom gets here and she locks her keys <laughs> in her car. Um, so we were sitting around for a lot longer than we thought and we had to call a locksmith and get that undone. And of course, while my mom is here, I'm not gonna be rude and be running around the house trying to clean and do all that, all that kind of stuff. So I just now got out of the shower. <laughs> um, Piper just left. I have a whole house to clean and the kids are going to be home in exactly 30 minutes. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I just, I'm going to have to clean like crazy while they're at home. Um, it's just so, ugh, so difficult. Um, I get, I'm the type of person, like I get so frustrated and my brain feels so like discombobulated when my house is a disaster and it's just, it's to a point right now where I'm like, I don't even know where to start. Do y'all ever get like that? Like you just look around and it's like, where, what, what do I even do? What do I even do first? Like nothing I do is going to make a dent in this monumental disaster. So I'm trying, I just took the garbage out. I just loaded up some of the bins that I'd been organizing for days and I put those in the garage. Um, I have some groceries from yesterday that I need to put up. Put up. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday and I'm all like, yeah, I'm gonna do a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Y'all, Dollar Tree didn't have anything that was interesting or worth doing a haul about. Anyway, y'all, I started this, um, my, my Advocare again today. I've got to get healthy. I'm just, I'm, I'm putting on a new face and I'm just, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it this time. I'm gonna do it right. So I've been working out and eating right and all that kind of stuff. And oh, y'all, look at this. Oh, look at that disaster. It's terrible. It's terrible. Um, those of you who shop in bulk, where do you store your, um, your excess boxes of food items? Um, my grass needs to be mowed. That's another thing that has to be done. My living room is a disaster. I mean, it really looks like a clothing store vomited in my living room. I just don't even know what to do. <sighs> disaster just a disaster. Um, and I have doctor's appointments that I still have to schedule. Um, IEP meetings for the school that I have to get done for the boys. Um, just a lot, y'all. I've got a lot. A lot on my plate. So I'm going to let you guys go for now and I'm just going to kind of mad dash clean as quickly as I can for the next 30 minutes and get as much done as possible while the kids are not here and while Aiden is sleeping. Um, Things just do not, <laughs> have not worked out today like they were supposed to, but we'll get it done. Okay, I at least feel like I have a plan now. I'm gonna get my kitchen clean first. That's what I'm gonna focus on, just solely on the kitchen um, for when the kids get home from school. Because when my kids get out of school, the kitchen is like Grand Central Station. Everybody is in here and everybody wants something to eat. And if the kitchen is a mess, 
then it's it's just not going to be a pretty picture. So I have a lot to put up. My counter is disgusting, you guys. I mean, I don't even know how it happened. I don't even know. But this is my counter currently. I've got my the Reynolds wrap. We've got our Ready Oats. Aiden's Ensure, my, my M&S um, Vitamins, we have two Lisa Frank coloring books, um, big old thing of mashed potatoes, floor cleaner, deodorant, lotion, what, what, how does this happen? How does this happen? I don't understand. I'm, I'm at a loss. <laughs> and it was clean last night when I went to bed and I, I did all this. I, this is all my fault. <laughs> I've been the only one home today. How did I make such a big mess? I'm such a messy person. Oh. Okay, so my counter looks a little bit better. Looks looks a little bit more presentable. Um, so I think the kids are going to be home really before I can do much of anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and get them a snack together. Get that on the table. Um, I have to wear my glasses today, y'all. My eye, oh, it's this one. My eye is so red and swollen and I don't know what is going on with it. And like my eyelid up here is really swollen. I'm not sure what I did or if it's related to the cold that I have or what's going on. But at any rate, it is annoying. Okay, so this is probably the world's most unhealthy snack. <laughs> but this is literally all that was left at the bottom of the cereal box and I wanna get rid of it. So um, they're just gonna have dry cereal for their snack. Um, usually I would cut them up some fruit or slice an apple. Um, they would get something a little healthier but I really need to just clean out my cabinet and it's easy and Narkees can eat it by himself while I, I do other things around the house. So, <sighs> It's okay to give your kids an unhealthy snack every now and then. <laughs> Sometimes you've just got to do it. And then this is what I've been um, taking, just the Advocare Spark. I've been trying to take that more um, instead of just my coffee. I don't really like this flavor, actually. And honestly, even though I'm an Advocare representative, um, <laughs> the only flavor I honestly like is the fruit punch. I don't like the orange or the grape or the mango strawberry or... Um, any of those other funky flavors. I just, I don't like them. <laughs> Gosh, I still have that cough too. Um, anyway, and then I think I showed you guys the vitamins that I'm doing. I'm hoping it makes me feel better. I've just been feeling ugh, so low on energy lately. Um, I'm ready to get healthy again. Uh, so I just checked the mail and I got a bunch of uh, paperwork in the mail for Aiden to see a geneticist um, because of his extremely short stature um, and his lack of growth. He's almost seven. He'll be seven in May um, and he weighs 32 pounds. So he's just very, very tiny. So they're thinking that in addition to his blindness, blindness, autism, and partial deafness, they think that he might have some sort of genetic anomaly going on. Um, so... <sighs> Oh, I thought I saw. I thought I saw my husband pull up. Um, they think he might have some sort of genetic um, anomaly going on with him as well on top of all of his other problems. So if that is the case, we really want to figure out what that is so we can know if there's any future repercussions of this syndrome. Um, if he even has a syndrome, um, we don't know at this point. But he is very, very tiny. And I explained to them the extent of neglect that he experienced when he was in Ukraine, that he was malnourished, he was not ever fed properly, um, lack of stimulation, all of these things would factor into um, failure to thrive. So he definitely has severe failure to thrive um, syndrome. However, um, they think it's something else. So we're gonna, I'm gonna humor them and I'm gonna go just in case it is. But uh, I think my babies are home. No, they're not. Darn. I keep hearing a door close. I guess, or slam outside. I guess everybody is, uh, is getting home. Getting home right around the same time. Ew, y'all need your cage cleaned. I just cleaned you guys' cage. These things are a mess. I love them. They are the sweetest things ever, but they do smell. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just cleaned their cage probably three days ago and it already... I'm kind of already getting a whiff of it not smelling good again. I think they are home. Yes, they are home. Yay. Okay, so the kids are home and they are eating. Um, 
They're eating their very super healthy snack. <laughs> do you like your snack? Yeah. And oh, you do, buddy. You like anything that is food. Cactula. No, man. No, man. Bazata, Da, da, da. Bazata. Puje. Da. He, uh, we've had to be uh, stretching him lately when children with um, cerebral palsy um, depending on the degree of cerebral palsy you need to stretch them on a daily basis and we've been stretching him so he's asking if we can stretch tomorrow instead of today um, he hates stretching and I know it hurts him um, but it is so necessary to get him to regain a little bit of mobility um, but sometimes we do give him a break we'll do like a day on and then we'll do a day off because he just gets so so sore um, from stretching so well, that's what he was asking me okay so Aiden is still napping I think I'm gonna go in here and tackle the rest of my clothing bins and try to try to get that going a little bit more. It's hard because I have to wash all of the clothes before I can put them in storage. Um, so I'm having to do a ton of laundry still and I don't know y'all, I'm just not getting it done like I would like to. And as soon as I go in there to start working on the clothes, Aiden wakes up and he's hungry so I need to fix him um, something to eat um, and get him something to drink and change him and all of that kind of stuff. So. Uh, chores are delayed again. But it's okay. It's okay. That's what you get when when you're a mama. All right. So I'm gonna make him some mashed potatoes, I guess. Oh hi. You guys are like looking at my at my shirt. Sorry about that. So Aiden just woke up from his nap. He's a little. <laughs> he's still sleepy, buddy. He, he's still a little out of it, but he is eating some uh, cheesy mashed potatoes um, for his snack. Um, I think he would probably live on this food if I would let him. Um, it's kind of hard to give him a huge variety of food because he can't eat solids. So I blend, I blend a lot <laughs> of food. Um, but for a quick snack, the, uh, the cheesy mashed potatoes are definitely his favorite. And then he's still on the, uh, the insure. It's okay, buddy. Here you go. It's okay. I know. It's okay. Okay, and then he just drinks a little cup of Ensure, and it, I'm trying to hold it, there you go, buddy, good job, and he does really well drinking from a cup by himself, um, I just kind of have to stay right with him, or he will throw the cup as soon as he's finished, so I kind of have to keep my hand right here, just in case, <laughs> good job, buddy, good job, is that funny, is that funny? Yeah, um, and it is uh, Aiden's, Aiden's, uh, it's Narkees' uh, bath night, so I have to give Narkees a bath, so again, all of this, all of this is just going to have to wait, because <laughs> I don't have the time to do it right now, and I was, I kind of thought I had a, a 30, 40 minute window before Aiden woke up, but he decided to wake up early. <laughs> He's such a sweet boy. He's such a sweet boy. Good job, buddy. Marquis kind of just got out of the chair all on his own. Little stinker. I hate it when he does that. It makes me nervous. Um, but he just gave me his, uh, oh, he just gave me his shoes. So I'm going to put his shoes up. And uh, whew, then I'm going to um, probably take him up and start giving him a bath. But... We have all the, the shoes in this in this closet just because it's more convenient that way. I can't get them in their little pocket today though. Oh, I can't do it one-handed. I can do it. So I'm just sitting here. I've got about probably 10, 15 minutes before I have to get uh, give Narkees a bath. But this is the cutest dress I have probably ever seen in my entire life. Isn't that cute, Zoe? Me. Yeah. I love it. It's a little expensive and I would never pay that much to actually buy a dress. Let me see if I can click on. That's adorable. <laughs> um, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit too frilly for me, for my taste, but as a photographer, I would love to have this dress for my girls and to do a photo shoot in. Um, I don't really know that they'd wear it out anywhere else. 
that I would. Out. Oh, I know you would. <laughs> but it is just super cute. And I love that one as well. <sighs> yeah, just trying to take a break. And my break is over because now Narkees is over there. <laughs> he got in through my bins. Are you turning on the radio, buddy? Duh. Duh? <laughs> Zoe, honey, will you help him? Help him get the his music on. No, the kids old tuck. Da. Da. The big the big one on the push CD. Good job, and then push play. Good that. There you go. Good job, buddy. <laughs> or Zoe, you're my buddy. I can call you buddy. And Aiden's still chilling in his car seat. I didn't lock him in there. I guess he just likes sitting there. To do it, Aiden. Andre, are you leaving mommy a present? No, I think you are. What's yeah. a present? <laughs> a present in his diaper for mommy to change. <laughs> Mama. Yeah, buddy. It's poop. Duh. It's gonna be poop. Duh. 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 Oh, what you doing, Zoe? What, do you, what? What? How's life? Why are you in my clean clothes? What do you think about life? Mama. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. <laughs> She's got out of school. Her hair is a hot mess. Did you drop Elsa? Oh no, don't drop Elsa. She'll freeze our house. If she won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Underwear. Oh, pull up her skirt. There you go, that looks better. So I'm gonna just call it a day uh, making mac and cheese for dinner. And when my husband gets home, I have to go, Aiden's slamming the front door, if you wonder what that is. Um, when my husband gets home, I have to go back to Sam's Club and take back my coffee maker that I bought the other day because it broke. The whole entire jar or the, the pot just shattered and I just was pouring my coffee one morning and it shattered. So I'm getting a new coffee maker. Um, that irritates me. But anyway, that's it for today. Um, I'm gonna let you guys go. So I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all can't talk. Talk to y'all later. Bye guys.